many of us fear gaining an extra pound or two, but, for some people, their weight struggle is a life or death situation. For many people that are extremely obese, they are usually aware, that their extra weight could cause their deaths, but, it can be a real challenge for them to stop eating. Others simply are genetically predisposed to obesity. Obesity can cause many other health problems, including diabetes and cancer. So today, I'm going to tell you about the heaviest women in the world. 1. Donna Simpson Donna Simpson, now 55 years old, lives in the United States and, in 2008, decided she wanted to break records as the heaviest woman in the world. While not a good idea health-wise, Simpson was determined and decided she wanted to weigh 1,000 pounds. To encourage her weight gain, she made a website, and had fans pay her to watch her eat and pack on the pounds. Simpson weighed 630 pounds at the time, but, managed to lose weight by 2010, falling to 602 pounds. Simpson earned the honor of being the Guinness World Record Keeper as the heaviest woman to have a baby. In 2010, she delivered her daughter, Jacqueline. After the birth of her first child, Simpson went on a diet, realizing obesity was causing her massive health issues. 2. Myra Rosales Myra Rosales became famous, when accusations became public, that she had killed her sister's son. However, the court felt that Rosales was too large to have caused the murder, and she got off. According to Rosales's defense team, she was too large to have lifted her arm to harm her nephew. At the time, Rosales weighed 1091 pounds. Rosales said she fell onto her nephew, and that's what caused the untimely death of two-year-old Aliso Jr. in 2008. Later, the police learned that the boy's death was caused by a head injury. So, Rosales admitted she invented her story, because, her sister Jamie had hit the boy earlier in the day. Jamie was found guilty of injuring a child and received 15 years in prison. Unfortunately for Rosales, the situation has created a lot of stress and negatively impacted her health. 3. Terry Smith When Terry Smith learned she weighed 698 pounds, her doctor told her, she needed to go on a diet or prepare to die from her obesity. At the time, Smith was experiencing terrible headaches and needed to get an MRI, but, she was too large to be placed in the machine. She wound up spending the next several years in bed, and needs help from either her husband, or her daughter to accomplish anything. Smith said, she was always large, even as a child, and grew up on soul food. Since everybody around her ate that food, she never thought about how it was impacting her health. By the age of 32, Smith's arthritis became so bad, and she could no longer walk far. That caused more weight gain. However, Terry Smith is currently trying to lose weight, and she is dieting and exercising. Her goal is to qualify to receive gastric bypass surgery. 4. Rosalie Bradford Rosalie Bradford reached a weight of 1,200 pounds, in January of 1987. Bradford struggled with her obesity for years and was rushed to the hospital, in 1987, because of congestive heart failure. After that, doctors forced her onto a controlled diet to curb her obesity and heart disease. By 1994, she weighed 282 pounds. Bradford passed away in November 2006. 5. Carol Yeager Carol Yeager weighed 1,189 pounds in 1993. At that time, she had to go to the hospital. A team of firefighters had to come in to move her, since she hadn't left her bed in nine months. When Yeager was hospitalized, she managed to lose 500 pounds. 6. Iman Ahmed Abid El Born in 1980, Iman Ahmed Abid El lived in Egypt, and was the heaviest living woman in the world. She was also considered the second heaviest woman ever, falling behind Carol Yeager. However, Iman was almost a foot smaller than Yeager. That means Iman had the highest recorded BMI in history at 251.1. At her heaviest, she weighed 1,100 pounds. She died in 2017. 7. Pauline Potter Pauline Potter is one of the latest world record holders for the heaviest woman alive. However, after Potter earned that title, she immediately decided, she wanted to take on a more active lifestyle. Potter, who is from Sacramento, California, weighs 643 pounds. Potter decided to reach out to Guinness, because, she wanted to shed light on obesity and find somebody, that would help her lose the pounds. 8. Katrina Rayford 
Katrina Rayford was considered the heaviest woman in the world at one point, and weighed 955 pounds at that time. By the time she was 14, she already weighed nearly 500 pounds. She wound up being placed in a psychiatric home by her family, and she stayed there for eight months. As she grew older, Rayford continued to gain weight. She also struggled with severe emotional issues, so, she was unable to hold down her job. In December 2003, Rayford finally found the inspiration to lose some of the weight, after calling for emergency assistance, because, she was having problems breathing. She had stayed in bed for five years at that point. When emergency workers came, they had to bulldoze her out of her house. Three years later, Rayford lost 300 pounds. In 2005, she was able to get a gastric bypass. 9. Elena Morgan Elena Morgan lived in Santa Rosa, California, and was once known as one of the world's heaviest women. At that time, she weighed almost 700 pounds. She appeared on an episode of the show Super Size vs. Super Skinny. She died in 2009. 10. Renee Williams When Renee Williams was 12 years old, she was already considered to have super morbid obesity. That means her BMI was well over 50. She experienced a car wreck in 2003, that resulted in the inability to walk. After that happened, she gained another 420 pounds in 4 years, which nearly doubled her previously 460 pound body. After gaining weight, Williams was stuck in bed, and she started eating often. Both before and after the car wreck, Williams would eat until her stomach physically hurt her. She could eat as much as 8 hamburgers in a single sitting. By the time she was 29 years old, Williams had weighed an incredible 880 pounds. She continued to gain around 8 pounds each year. Although, she didn't qualify for gastric bypass surgery, doctors knew she had less than a year to live, because of her weight. So, the surgery was performed. Unfortunately, Williams passed away 12 days later. So, what do you think about these fat women? Aren't they really amazing? If you are thinking of getting fat like this, give up that idea now. Because, obesity can shorten your precious life.